How you doing, YouTubers? Over at the park drinking some coffee. And now, uh, I want to show you my new Kuxa. I've had it for, oh, way too long. I should have been using it a long time ago. I probably had it for maybe six, eight months. And uh, I got this off of Amazon, which is where I get a lot of my stuff. Um, <clears throat> some people like Amazon and some don't. I like it because you can get anything you want at any price range you want. So this was reasonable. This kooks, I can't remember how much it was, but it was like 10, 11 bucks, something like that. Pretty nice little cup. I'm uh, planning on doing some uh, burning on it if I can find my soldering iron, which I probably haven't seen in 15 years or more. So it may take me a while to dig it out. Of course, it may take me a while to do it too because uh, as you know, um, I do a lot of stuff, but sometimes I don't get around to finishing things, and I think that's because, you know, I'm busy doing stuff. Uh, can't say I got a super busy life, because I don't, but, you know, you, you get ideas in your head, and uh, after a while, you kind of forget about them, so... kind of like the way it is with everything <laughs> with me so but I got stuff and I use it I got use my little single burner Coleman stove to make this coffee today and I uh, actually made it in my Stanley Stanley cup kit and uh, that metal it gets hot so I decided to drink it out of my my Kuxa for the first time and uh, Instead of using the green cups. I like the green cups too. So. It is what it is. Um, anyway. Um, I was going to talk about the coronavirus. And. Uh, I don't have a lot to say about it. I mean. I'm not. An intellectual by any means. And. Uh, you know. I'm just going by what I see in the media. And. Uh, what I hear from the government and uh, you know here's my opinion I think a lot of it and don't get me wrong I think it's a very serious disease and uh, we should be very aware of it and uh, probably play it safe try to play it safe a little bit but uh, I think uh, some of it's blown out by the media and uh, it may or may not be as bad as it is portrayed being. So, um, I'd say take some of it with a grain of salt because the media likes to blow things up. And since uh, it's an election year, it's uh, probably done even a little bit more. So, uh, I'm not condoning being lax about anything by no means um, you should still wash your hands quite a bit I personally do a lot because I work in uh, the uh, retail business and I'm handling money uh, who knows maybe a hundred times an hour or so and I'm in contact with hundreds upon hundreds of people and I've noticed about half of them got the flu right now so does that concern me yeah does it scare me no um, I know I'm in my 60s my wife's in her 60s and uh, we both have underlying health problems so if it comes to our little community we're gonna be pretty vulnerable I'd say but I'm going to keep living my life and I'm not going to be scared of anything until it gets close to me. If it gets close to me, yeah, you might 
see me be a little bit of a recluse and uh, you know I've got some stuff uh, prepped at home so I could withstand a couple weeks without going to the store I'm sure um, but hopefully it won't come to that hopefully this virus will kind of wear itself out when the hot weather gets here that's what they're talking about so um, Hopefully that happens and uh, things go away quietly. Um, so that's all I had to say today. This is uh, I'm going to title this video "Coffee with Chris" because that's what we're doing. Chris is having coffee, and that's mighty good. Our weather here has been pretty good for the last week. We're looking at probably 55 degrees right now. I'm in my t-shirt, short sleeves, and I'm not a bit cold, so uh, we're supposed to get some severe thunderstorms and maybe a, a tornado here or there tonight, so we'll be on the alert like we always are in Ohio. Our weather changes all the time, so we're used to it. Anyway, I'll let you go for now. Have some more coffee. Thanks guys, I'll see ya.